Let us now investigate about inventories in Colgate Palmolive's 10K report of 2012. So I'll just find inventories word within the 10K report and see if we have specific things which are of interest. Okay, so you can look here. I mean, uh, here the company accounts for inventories using both FIFO method, which accounts for 80% of the inventory and the last in first out, which is the LIFO method, which accounts for 20% of the inventories. Please remember again, LIFO is allowed only in US. However, this FIFO is actually coming because of the IFRS or the International Accounting Standards and there would be no material impact on the reported earnings for 2012, 11 and 10 had all inventories been accounted for under the FIFO method. So this is important for us to know because when we are looking at comparing Colgate with other international companies because we need to have peer to peer comparisons when it comes to inventory valuation method. So on one side international may be following FIFO method, Colgate is also for following LIFO method. So you can fairly assume that there's no material impact. So you can actually compare on an as is basis. So let's move forward if we have something additional to this. Okay, we have another thing which is uh, inventories are stated at the lower of the cost or the market. Hope you remember the thing which we have discussed LCM, lower of the cost or the market. So this is what is applied in the context of Colgate as well. And uh, the cost of all other inventories predominantly in the US and Mexico is determined using the LIFO method. So that's what we were talking about. US, typically US and surrounding regions may follow LIFO for its accounting method. Let us uh, see if we have anything else to kind of highlight and look forward to. Okay, we also have a bifurcation of inventories by major classes. So uh, raw material and supplies is $362 million work in progress and finished goods. So please note that finished goods actually form a sizable chunk in 2012 as well as in 2011. So I mean, is this particular phenomena which is specific towards Colgate or we may have to also do comparison with other companies like Procter & Gamble and uh, HUL uh, to probably uh, see that if this is the industry trend, you know, uh, companies may like to store finished products and um, uh, for early access and release. 